Hello everyone. It's September 19, 2012. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. I saw something in the newspaper yesterday in the Brattleboro Reformer that Mitt Romney was caught on film or digital whatever. He was speaking to a group of rich guys and he said that, you know, there's 47% of the country are going to vote for President Obama no matter what he does, what he says. These are people who feel entitled to, you know, food and health care and things like that. You know, well, gee, it's a terrible thing to feel like you're entitled to eat or for health care, which, you know, even some of the most impoverished countries on the face of this planet have free health care for their citizens. You know, a friend of mine was in Italy, and Italy's not one of the most impoverished, but it's a, it's a good example. A friend of mine was in Italy a few years ago. He had a heart attack. He went, rushed to the hospital, and he's all better now. Everything's fine. But he was in the hospital for four or five days, and when he got out, he asked for the bill because he wanted to pay the bill. And they looked at him like he was, you know, from Mars or something, and no, we have socialized medicine here. It's taken care of. I thought that was just for, you know, citizens. No, no, it's for anybody who gets sick or hurt here. It's taken care of. That is civilization, not greed. Civilization. You know, the mark of a true civilization is how it treats the least of its citizens. Now, Mitt Romney also said in that little bitty speech, and you check it out on YouTube, you know, the top little box there, Mitt Romney, Mother Jones, because Mother Jones was the one who released this, and for a, it's a minute and a half long, it's not that long, but you really need to watch this clown, this coward, cheat clown. He says... Those 47% are going to vote for the president no matter what I say, no matter what I do. If I'm elected, it'll be my job to ignore that 47%. Wait a second. President is supposed to represent all of us, I thought. I realized, you know, you can't represent all the people on every question, every problem, because, you know, there's discrimination. You cannot please the discriminators by, you know, going to bat for the discriminated. And likewise, the reverse. You can't please the discriminated by going to bat for the discriminators. I get that. But equality means the president is supposed to be of the people, by the people, for the people. The word which is not in there, you know, of the rich people, by the rich people, for the rich people. That's not there. It's of the people, by the people, for the people. And Mr. Romney, that includes the 47% you are going to ignore. You said it. It's on digital. It's on the air. We know it. I saw it this morning. Because rather than, you know, just believe what I read in the newspaper, I actually checked it out. Like I said, the little box there on YouTube. Type in Mitt Romney, Mother Jones. Hit the spyglass. It comes right up in the list. It's there. Check it out for yourselves. If you don't believe me, check it out yourself. Go ahead. I said coward. You know, yeah, I meant that. The day I turned 18, on my way to my job after high school, I stopped at the recruitment office and signed up for the U.S. Navy. Mitt Romney, well, he did missionary work in, oh my God, those pagans, those cannibals, all oh, that backward society of France. He did missionary work for the Mormon Church in France, and thereby negated his duty, his obligation to this country to serve. But you see, people like Mitt Romney, the rich sons of bitches, that word is not in their vocabulary unless it's to serve them. 
like us 47% ought to do. I mean, to feel we're entitled to food and health care. Now, he said that he'll never convince us to take responsibility for our own lives. You know, it's real easy to take responsibility for your life when daddy leaves you a hundred million goddamn dollars, isn't it, Nick? The shit. You are a lying son of a bitch. And all of you. Oh, go start, you're free, free to start a business. You damn well know you can't do it that way anymore. The 60s are long gone. You have negated the possibility of somebody coming up with a good idea and doing it in the garage to start. Those days are pretty much over. Now, there's going to be one or two guys who manage to do that. I'm laying odds. They're not going to be real happy with you either. So I don't really want to hear how, oh, stop complaining, do something for yourself. Believe me, sunshine, if I could, I would. I spent most of yesterday in tears because of the weather was so bad it hurt so much and I can't get out and do things anymore like I used to I was real happy with my life before I got hurt I wasn't a controller I wasn't a boss I was a worker but I was happy I did what I did to the best of my ability I got the prizes, I have the awards, I can show them off if you'd like to come see. I'm not going to put them out on the air. you got to actually come see me, I'll get a visit that way, which would be a highlight. The thing is, there are millions and millions and millions of us who don't want to be the boss. We'd rather have some time with our families and our friends and doing the things we really want to do. And we're totally happy not being the guy in charge who, you know, wants to cry, oh, I spend so much time at work making all this money and I don't get to enjoy it because I'm spending all this time at work making all this money that I don't get to enjoy because I'm spending so much time at work. You get my point here? Mitt Romney et al., that whole ilk, they're really jealous of us. They don't like us because, well, we enjoy our lives in spite of them. They think they're entitled to control everything. That's the entitled. Well, sorry about your luck. No, you don't get to make slaves out of us. We had that war 160 years ago. You might have remembered it. And yeah, there was a whole lot of people then who fought for the wrong side. We're never, you know, this, here we go again, the rich guys convincing the poor guys that all you got to do is go out there and shed your blood for me and, well, good things will happen. For them, you know, 95% of the people who fought on the Confederate side in the Civil War were never, ever going to be able to own a slave. But that's what they were fighting for. The question is, why were they fighting for it? Well, this rich guy said, hey, states' rights, my rights. You know, you want to be like me, you'll do this. And because that was the local rich guy who they all looked up to and depended on, that's what they did. It's been this way through history. The rich guy says, do this. A whole slew full of people will do this. Here's what I'm doing now for the rich guys. I hope you all do the same thing in November. 47% won't vote for you. Oh, there was one other thing on YouTube that I did manage to see. I got to bring this up on the David Pakman show. P-A-K-M-A-N. David Pakman. Did you know? This I find to be most interesting, really, because this rich guy, Mitt Romney, apparently his campaign stole plagiarized, stole, word for word, the donations paid from the Barack Obama campaign. Now, they claim they're cutting edge. I think they're cutting and pasting or cutting corners. Because, oh my goodness, it would you'd have to pay somebody to come up with a web page of your own. Now, they did it word for word, exactly as Obama's. 
Now they've changed that, they said. Bless their little hearts. They, they've managed to change that. But big deal. We're talking commander and cheat. You know, again, like I said the other day, the only reason you have offshore bank accounts is to hide money from the IRS, which means he's stealing from you and me. That's 47% that thinks, you know, golly gee, you ought to pay all of your damn taxes. Oh, he claims 47% don't pay any taxes at all. Well, it might be because we don't make enough money, you dumb son of a bitch. Mitt the bitch shit. Personally, I'd vote for anybody before Mitt Romney. This is a spoiled, rich little boy who just doesn't get it. And he feels he's one of the entitled. More is the pity. More is the pity. The entitled. You're entitled to kiss my rosy red butt, Mitt. That's what you're entitled for. I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's the schmuck look. Peace.